welcome back to my channel it's Nidia welcome so I wanted to try out some new products and actually test them at the gym which I don't, I don't usually wear makeup to the gym is it really makeup I don't know we shall see but I just thought I would spice it up a little bit and we'll have a see as we're going I do actually have a vlog uploaded but it's on private because I do have to be so boring my skin has been oops, so dry so I'm just using the Elemis cream that my auntie got me for Christmas. It's so dry. And this is the only thing that I put on to begin with. My hands and my chocolate sponge basket. the best to remember everything that I needed and I obviously haven't done very well at that. I am who I am. Okay, so we are testing out the Jacqueline Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Fuller Tint. I forgot, I completely forgot to pack a brush for this, I'm just going to use this as a foundation brush. I think I've only used it twice and hopefully it won't mess with it too much. I got the shade medium. So I'm just going to put my primer there. Uh, I'm just going to put a place on the brush on the back. So my. Um, I'm tired, but that's what concealer's for. Interesting. I like a good see brush strokes. Look how bad it is. I got the concealer in medium neutral. Now I did try this the other day because the reviews have not been great. So I'm going to insert my first impressions of this now. Okay, so this is what the concealer is looking like. Obviously it's on this eye. Is that right? I don't know if that made a difference or not. I don't understand. I, I tried it because I was so nervous that I'd wasted my money but I'm sorry there's been quite a lot of videos this isn't it set by the way quite a lot of videos were it ain't great but so I um put on a little layer with my do you know what I'm just going to recreate on this side what how I did it just because it's not set like Like, there's that little, little crease there, but I have that with all concealers. Like I said, this isn't set and I've put on three layers. I've really tested it. Apologies if you can hear my bath running, it's pretty late at night. Okay, so firstly, I think I did this and I blended it out with my finger. And I was like, just like test. There's nothing else on my face. I've been at work all day because uh, I wear a mask. I literally just put a bit of bronzer in my crease and go to work. <laughs> so yeah, that was my first layer, and I was like, huh. 
like that is a nice coverage but I was like just try this all so then I think I did that <laughs> and I just got this random brush and I like blended it up like up into my tear duct and I was like okay it layers obviously the rest of my skin looks insane because there's nothing on but I was like let me go in again so I did and this side has been on my face for about half an hour because I was like watching YouTube videos and just like running my bath and whatnot probably more like 20 minutes I obviously put in too much cold water in my bath hence it's still running now but I've not gone right up to my lash line. If I went right up to my lash line, I probably wouldn't be that line, but like, I'm so. So I got it in shade medium neutral. First impressions of um that can sort of bring down that lighting so you can see that's probably a bit better so it's not too bright i like my concealers to pretty much be my skin color but not so i think i'm a little bit more positive about the concealer but Let's see when I actually wear it for a longer period of time. Like I said, I've got the shade medium neutral. I'm just going to blend out my concealer brush. It's a different one to the my first impressions. But this is the brush that I use for my concealer. I don't bring it up a little bit, it's not highlighted so vain. Yeah, I'm not, I don't get the hate, I don't get it. It's the correct shade. I feel like to me it's okay, but I mean, let's see how it works. Let's not get too excited. Just a little bit more there. But on other people, it just went all weird. So then I was really nervous. I was like, oh no, I've wasted my bingo winnings. <laughs> Obviously I had to treat myself to something. I just couldn't play all in the bank. So I did um purchase these two little bags. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Not mad at it at all. So I'm just gonna quickly put some little side bronzer on. Tastes like, don't you look nice? <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't want to be like putting lots of stuff on that I don't need. So I'm just gonna quickly set it with my Jaclyn powder. Mm -hmm. 
pick up the other one with the tape. I got an old one that kind of still goes real quick. It's very light. Helps if you like the light to stay. shade cat cat and these are the ones that have picked up a lot of comments as to what okay I think I might do a bit of brows or if I don't honestly it doesn't do much for my brows or brow hairs are too pathetic but you know I've bought it so I may as well use it so I'm upset because my cousin put one shade in the bag but she's just messaged me to tell me that Shawn Mendes has cancelled his concert for this year. Do you remember when I like made my vision board and I put all the stuff on that I really wanted to happen this year? Shawn is the first one coming off. God damn. So I've had to let my mum know because it was her birthday present so that's postponed till 2023 which is just great god I'm sorry I'm oh no, still full of red hair so what's going to be next I'm going to be optimistic nothing else is going to be next the rest of everything else is going to work out fine especially because we've just booked Mexico for my mum's birthday in November, I mean, it's the end of the year, so hopefully it'll be fine. But yeah, I was just like, oh. the first one down. So I'm actually cheating on NYX, I couldn't get to the retail park. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artiste, and it's very similar. I just picked it up in Sainsbury's because that was where I was at. Got the super super dry cream in that eyebrow. <sighs> That's me. So I'm going to make my morning concoction and watch some cheer and then depending on how busy the gym is I might film my workout I have to get this dress Get off my face Wow be really careful because my eyebrow hairs will come out with this. Oh, I've got to them. I need to get them green microbladed. Because upstairs I'm cleaning so much. I didn't go for my top up when I got them done last time because you get them done and you're going to go about two weeks later but I never went. So it's faded so much quicker. Go close to the window to show you my skin. I feel like it looks good. Gym fit of the day is obviously on the practice. And I've got oh, I've got some new trainers, so I'll have to show you those in a bit as well. But yeah, I'm getting brave. I hate this. But we're working on it. We're getting there. We're doing well. is so windy um my 
my skin looks so good i really like i really like those products and you literally saw i just put on that tint thing on my bronzer and concealer there's no highlight there's no blow i love it um on my lips i just popped on my butter balm from the one that i always used to wear i just popped a bit of that on because it's moisturizing um so max's mum just told me about the new rules for driving they make absolutely no sense well we, i understand them but i mean they're stupid so um i'm gonna try and remember them because they're gonna be on it to try and find you she said so I'm gonna get my car washed today, even if it rains. Um, I'll do the box in a second. Salad tape this up. I ran out to my car before because I was gonna do my unboxing in the house, but I had to go out to get my stuff for my pretty. And when you tried to wash it on me, and I was just like, whoa. No thanks, hon. So I literally just got my fat lunch bag and ran back inside. Oh, this is not going to be great, is it? I need to then find out if there's been a storm or something. Oh, I'm nearly crying because it's so windy. And I was waiting for that. No, I'm still not checked to that. Um, I just don't feel about the wind taken out of me. Oh my god, it's half past 11. That's a bit fast. That box was a nightmare. Oh my god, I'm just out of breath. I don't know, around the corner. Whoosh. So, um, I will do my unboxing there when I'm in the gym at car park. funny my boyfriend's 
lovers, friends, boyfriends, little sister. Wow. What is this mosh doing? I'm so confused, hun. That's like the worst. What are you trying to do? Um, she's a post, post lady. Uh, I met her just towards the end of last year because she's moved up from, I want to say, Brighton, Devon, somewhere down there. So where we live and we're like, why? What's wrong with you, hun? Anyways. Um, and I just saw her and I find it so funny that she's a post lady. She's there in the little round nail van. Um, whew, it's actually funny that I just see because I just um, she's got two little sausage dogs and there was this um, video on Facebook of this couple that had eight sausage dogs. And I literally tagged her back this morning and then I've just seen it. Weird. It's been hard ever since that party that I met her at last year. Anyways. mentioned that Max has returned. I think flying. I've even ordered like stuff off like protein and stuff like that so he said he's gonna be getting back on the early mornings next week. We shall see. So I ordered it from Zara. Um first things first I can't the size of the box because it's literally a perfume. Now um, I got this on recommendation from Tasha Whitlow. It sounds so funny me pronouncing her name, but it is Tasha. She's from Australia. Now, let me just have a root. This is my everyday Ariana Grande cloud. As you can see, she's hanging off her dear life. And this is meant to be a dupe for that, but a bit more mature, according to Tasha. So... Uh, everyone always compliments me when I'm wearing my Ari one and uh, let's see if I get compliments on this one first let's see if it smells like it uh, my PT always says that I smell nice it, I'm always like oh, I, don't know um, <laughs> I do have other perfumes but it is that's my scent uh, however um, a few people have since bought it and so this is a hand off. Um, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh. It's nice. It's definitely. I'm gonna see how that was. I'm not mad at it, but it's not as like sweet as the Ariana Grande. I'm not even told you what it is yet, just in case. Like I'm not. I mean, oh, it's not had a perfume, so that's why it's stronger. So it's Zara, um, Ebony Wood. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely different to the RE, so I might still have to brew purchase that one. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what Lucy says when she smells me. Interesting. Oh! What did you say? 
Beautiful. Oop, PT done. Um, and I've just thought I want to drive past the place where we used to go get my car validated. Oh, I need petrol. And if it's not too busy, I'm actually going to go. I'm going to get the full works done inside and out. So I've just quickly chucked some of the stuff that is like lying about into my boot. I do have quite a lot of crap in my car. Um, I just thought it'll just help me out, won't it? Are these people like legit blocking where I need to go? Wow. Um, but yeah. that I get. I feel like I get one an hour or something like that. Um, so exciting. Actually going to the traffic centre with my mum and Ollie. So I'm thinking take the car to get valeted. Um, walk to go get some cash to pay for the valet. <laughs> and then go home. Wash my fringe because I've all, I, I put a bit of purple spray on. Uh, to help tone a bit of the, the yellow and lash and um, it's a bit lilac and I don't, I don't, I need to get rid um, get ready for Le Trafford and then go to my mum's and take my laundry actually put some washing on that lash is just wants to hang off and get in my eye I've got you um, I am loving this skin tint skin tint, skin whatever thing that I put on. I'm not going to touch it up because it is still a wear test even though I'm going to be washing the fringe to see how it lasts. Um, I went into some steps in the women's room. The women's room has new lights. It, it's horrendous. Um, it's very bright. But I just kept on looking at my skin in the mirror and I was like that sounds really big headed but I like how I just said that when this is this is happening. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why I'm doing this because this is just gonna like come out when I go for a walk in the wind. Um, so yeah, I do really like how it makes my skin look. Make sure I start double cleansing and facial brushing and whatnot. But yeah, so go forward. Uh, I guess not. The queue. Ooh, is that what's on the main road? Um, so no valet. <laughs> um, I'll just go to the same I think Max's mum said it was three pounds, and you just go for like a, a drive through thing. I think. And depending on what time I get to my mum's, I can just use the inside. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like such an adult. So I used to always get my petrol from Morrison's because I had a Morrison's more card and um, they've stopped doing it. So I've literally just signed up for an extra card um, and now I'm just going to go get some petrol from Sainsbury's. I also just treated myself to some new car seat covers. I feel, again, my other ones got trash. I don't know how I get material. So I've got leather look ones. So hopefully we can make the car look beautiful. What is going on here? Got people. Um, my mum decided he didn't want to get fuel from there. Apparently. Okay. Um, so yeah. Oh my god. I literally just pushed the limits. Oh. My pom pom's got petrol all over it. I filled my tank that much. It came out of the end. That has never happened before. I was trying to get it to an even number. I've got issues, but now my pom pom sinks the petrol. Damn. God damn. So yeah, that just happened. I'm just gonna queue for the car wash. I had to take my aerial off, which I've never done before. So these are my car seat covers that I got just from Argo. We're gonna just put that aerial. I don't know if I lose that. Right, I have to screw that back on. You know, I've just got petrol all out. I've got to up and take my car to the car wash, isn't it? Um, I have to wash that pom pom because it stinks. So I actually got the one up. There is like an express one which is three pounds, but I got the five pound one which dries your car as well. You know, to lock in that cleanness. Um, so yeah. Quite excited. It's half past one. I said to my mum, be ready for three. Got plenty of time. The lady had to explain to me how to take my hair off because I didn't know how to do that. Anticlockwise, apparently, anticlockwise. I'm going to have to drive home with no music on because I'm not popping it back on and I'll get out of here. Hmm. There's literally queues for everything. There was a queue in Argos. When I first drove past here the queue for the car wash was even longer so I'm glad I went and got my um, car seat covers first. Do -do -do -do. How exciting! <coughs> <coughs> um, does my man know what he's doing? We're in! I've got to show you how dirty my car was before, but believe me, it was dirty. Should I, or should I not be upset that it's now raining and I just saw my car wash? <laughs> Why is the world like this? So now I'm gonna have to try and put these car seat covers on without the doors open. Living your best life. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Who is it? The vlog. Huh? The vlog. Oh. It's at least short. Hello. We dinosaur. Have you now? Look at you. Whoa. What's the question like? Oh my god, oh my god, it's heavy. I'm blinding. 
So I'm home from the Trafford Centre and um, I feel like the makeup has worn off on the tip of my nose a little bit but it doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. Uh, honestly, I'm impressed. My concealer is like, obviously I haven't put my concealer all the way up to my um, lash line this eye here i have been rubbing it and i have pulled off an eyelash so uh that's why it's removed off there because i've literally rubbed it off but yeah it's definitely come off my nose which is weird um and i can't say that was because i put my five bronze on the tip of my nose as well because i put it there but it's been 12 hours i'm happy i am happy with that word test so the traffic Ooh, that rich my straw uh, Gemma bought me this it's the five size metal straw because we love the milkshake so I took it with me and you can watch that because um, I can have five guys sorry Gem um, okay so as you saw picked up my mum got me these shorts in Primark um, I just I just thought they would be really nice with some tights and a top next week when me and Max go to Newcastle. Or the way the right way. Um so yeah, I'm gonna wear those with some tights and some boots and a black top and we'll go out for dinner and drinks with Charlotte and Ross. Um and then Swarovski. So when Max asked me to be his girlfriend, he got me this Swarovski it was a bracelet. Uh, but because I wore it every day, like the connections of it kind of, they went copper. So I turned it into a necklace. And it's funny because everyone's always like, where's your necklace from? And I'm like, I kind of made it, but it's sort of screen. Uh, so I did that myself. But anyway, um, for my birthday one year, he got me this ring with a matching bracelet. And the bracelet actually broke two weeks ago. And I went in and I was like, my boyfriend got me this. Um, and it's broke can we like send it off for repair they just gave me a brand new one brand new um, how is that for customer service so now my wrist is going to look beautiful again because I'm going to have my Swarovski bracelet um, basically it was this part on the one that broke like this tiny little thing that that was on that fell out um I should, i've just got a brand new one they said they just swap them because there's no point sending it back to i think she said switzerland wherever swarovski is made that is where it just gets sent back to so they just swap it now if it's in stock so there she is but yeah so that's amazing and if you're wondering what this bracelet is, oh it just says bracelet, uh, I have no idea if Max picked it, but she's pretty, bracelet cry, yeah, that's it, this bracelet was £125, I didn't know what this is. Just, it says it on here minus 125 pound so, much. so yeah that was nice and i went into straddle bed wheels um, and i had to put in oh there's my purse let's not lose that um, max is gonna hate them but i don't care i've wanted some jeans like this for a very long time and I'm gonna be back from Puppet Bless. Oh god. I just feel like they're gonna look so cool with 
I am eventually going to treat myself to the platform converse, but I don't need them yet. Uh, with, I can just wear them with my with any boots or just anything. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I didn't even realise. I've got a split in them. Max is going to hate them, but I'm going to love them. So yes, and I actually got a size 8. I've got a size 8 in jeans in. But they are stretchy and I am losing weight. So I said, my mum is my mum said she's pretty sure they're gonna fit, but even if they're a little bit tight, I will fit them when I've hit my goals. So yes, so that is my little haul. Um I'm now going to roll my bath and watch This Is Us. Oh, I know that. I can't wait for that to grow. Um, I watch This Is Us because I enjoy it. Um, that's tight. I don't know. I'm gonna vlog. Again. I'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow. I can't. I don't know how much I've actually filmed. So, um, I don't want to nip into town tomorrow. Nip into. I want to nip into the phone shop. Uh, to see about upgrading my phone. Um, so yeah. That is what I'm going to do. So I'll see you. In the morning. And let's hope we have another good day. What a good day. I told Ali. Kiai. So me, me and Nick to walk around places going, oh, that's cute. Don't even know where I've got that from, but that's what I say. And now I'll just say, oh my God, hilarious. So I, I just took Ollie to my cookie dough. And um, before they made it, we were stood in the queue. And he said to me, he went, so do you think the cookie dough is going to be um, like me or your colour? And me and my mum literally just went and looked at each other because Ollie rarely comments on the difference in our skin colour because obviously my dad is black and Ollie's dad is white and my mum is um she's a quarter. My nana was adopted but my nana was Native American, so my mum and my uncle are really olive skinned and get a really dark tan. And one of my aunties has curly hair and she tans well, but uh, she's naturally like white. And my other auntie, she's just white <laughs> through and through. Um, so yeah, my mum and my uncle got my nana's colouring. And so Ollie has in the past said to my mum, like, what am I? Is like because you know, Uncle Johnny are dark, or Sean has got a tan, he doesn't say dark, he says I've got a tan. Um, and Ollie in summer or on holidays gets a really good tan, but in winter, the poor boy is see through. So it, it just doesn't ever, you know, after that, he doesn't comment. So it just made us laugh because we was like, well, <laughs> the cookie dough looks like you until it's cooked, and then it looks like me. Um, but it just made us laugh. So then, um, he got the slutty brownie one that I got last time, and we said to him that he was allowed to say it when he was ordering because we like make him order his own stuff. Um, and then out of nowhere, he went, "You're a slutty brownie, aren't you?" Well, me and my mom were dead. I was like, "Wow," because the slutty brownie obviously was cookie dough brownie blah 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 and it's like wow well, okay Ollie yeah I am a slutty brownie indeed <laughs> like such an innocent child comment but hilarious so I said wait until I tell your dad you called me a slutty brownie um honest to god priceless priceless mom I wish I wish I had that on camera because honest to god that hit that kid cracks me up. He also asked me if I'd had lip filler and my mum was like it's her lip gloss but whenever I have lip gloss on people ask me if I've had my lips done, if I've had them redone blah blah blah. I have not had my lips done since a long time. I say a long time probably like over a year but 
yeah we never have whipped gloss on have you had your lips really done no um and i'm pretty sure as far as ollie has been alive for him to have noticed i've always had it i think um again it just made me laugh um i think that's pretty much it oh and another thing that he says that i really like is um you're lying whenever you say something that he just doesn't want to believe so um we were in Zara and he's like, is there a toilet in here? And I was like, no. He went, you're lying. I was like, there is a toilet in the traffic centre, but we need to go to it. But yeah, anyway, I digress. I'm probably on a tangent there, did I? So yeah, I'll see you all in the morning. Good afternoon. So I did not make it to the phone shop. Um, I will up at about... It's after five this morning, and I just felt like I was awake. So I listened to some music and fell back asleep and woke up at 10 to 12. That was not part of the plan. So, uh, Max went out last night and drank far too much alcohol. I tried to get him to come for a walk, but he's not down. Um, but then my PT Lucy text saying, do you want to see a walk? So, I'm just going to meet her to go for a walk. Um, I'm be a bit cold actually, I didn't bring my books. Anyways, uh, we shall see and then I'll return to sit with that hungover boy. Um, but yeah, I honestly felt so sick last night after eating all that food. But well, it wasn't even all that food, but it was just I've not eaten like that in ages. I was that's what woke me up because I was so uncomfortable and felt sicky this morning. Just, my belly just wasn't happy. Um I haven't yet eaten today. I think I'm a bit scared to eat. It is oh my god, it's two o'clock. Um Once I got back from my walk, um, <sighs> mental, no spoilers, but um, yeah, so messed up. So I'm now going to plan my week and um, yeah, get to bed. This feels pretty late, and I'm tired considering I slept until 10 to 12 this afternoon. So I can't believe that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um and i'll see you all in a couple of days with another one bye